You are listening to KSG podcast. This is a short, crisp, concise, exam-oriented, edited editorial for civil services aspirants. In this podcast, we are going to talk about offshore wind energy potential. Source is Tanvi Deshpande's article for the Business Standard. Three and a half years since the government asked companies to come forward to set up India's first offshore wind energy project in the Gulf of Khambat in Gujarat, the project is yet to take off. In offshore plants, wind turbines are installed in the sea as opposed to onshore projects with turbines on land. The Gujarat project would have a capacity of 1 gigawatt. By 2022, India plans to produce 5 gigawatts electricity for comparison at its peak. Delhi's electricity demand was about 3.3 gigawatts on 14th of November from such offshore wind energy projects and expanded to 30 gigawatts by 2030. But a lack of developed port infrastructure, higher costs of installing turbines in the sea and delays because of the COVID-19 pandemic means progress has been slow, according to experts. Currently, India has no operational offshore wind energy plant. This is despite a 7,600-kilometer-long coastline and an offshore wind energy potential of 140 gigawatts by 2050. Of this, Gujarat and Tamil Nadu make up 71 gigawatts. Now, why offshore wind energy is important for India? India's energy demand is set to grow by 3% per year up to 2040. And meeting this demand sustainably will require clean sources of power. On 1st of November 2021, India announced a new climate pledge of meeting 50% of its energy requirements with renewable energy by 2030. Currently, India meets 26.4%, that is 103 gigawatts of its energy requirements from uh, renewable energy sources such as solar and wind. Though its contribution may be small, offshore wind energy will help achieve this target and yet its vast potential remains untapped. Six years since India created a national offshore wind energy policy. Globally, the offshore wind market has grown from 29.2 gigawatts in 2019 to 35.3 gigawatts in 2020, according to the Global Wind Report 2021 of the Global Wind Energy Council. Leading in total offshore wind installations was the UK, followed by China, Germany, Netherlands and Belgium as of 2020. Global offshore capacity would exceed 2,000 gigawatts by 2050, with India accounting for 140 gigawatts. An earlier report by the European Union and facilitating offshore wind in India project had estimated. In India, 36 gigawatts of offshore wind energy potential exists off the coast of Gujarat and nearly 35 gigawatts exists off the Tamil Nadu coast, according to an assessment by the National Institute of Wind Energy, a research and development institute of the Indian government. Now let's talk about higher cost challenges in grid connectivity. Though offshore wind energy could help India produce more clean energy, it is more expensive than onshore wind and solar power. According to a March 2021 report by the Lok Sabha's 17th Standing Committee on Energy, the exact cost of the offshore turbine and tariff cannot be ascertained at this stage. However, based on the preliminary studies, it is estimated that the per megawatt cost of the offshore wind turbine would be two to three times the cost of onshore wind turbines. Take the Gujarat project, for instance. Due to the need for very high initial capital investments and the lack of financial support, the project has not progressed since 2018. As per a Global Wind Energy Council, that is GWEC report, published in April 2021. In mid-2019, the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy applied for a 800 million euro, that is 6,700 crore rupees, viability gap funding, a grant to cover the high investment in infrastructure projects to the Ministry of Finance to support the construction of this project, the report said. Now about turbine manufacturing infrastructure and environmental impact. Offshore wind turbines require longer blades and transporting them over long distances is not viable, experts say. Ports in Tamil Nadu and Gujarat would have to be developed such that blades can be manufactured near the closest port from the offshore site, according to the GWEC report. 
Offshore plants have significant challenges including subsea cabling, turbine foundation, installation of turbines including logistics, grid interconnection and operation, development of transmission infrastructure and coastal security during construction and operation period, noted the National Offshore Wind Energy Policy. So what is the way ahead? Overall, growth of both offshore and onshore wind energy has been slowing down in India. Offshore wind projects are also important for diversification of energy assets so that a region is not entirely reliant on one source of energy, especially as renewable energy is intermittent, said Shah of IEEFA. The government expects the cost of offshore projects to fall. The MNRE said in its report published in March 2021 that with strong onshore wind turbine manufacturing base in India, the price of the offshore wind turbines and the tariff are expected to be competitive and at par with onshore wind turbine rates at the time of large commercial scale deployment of offshore wind turbines in the country. So that's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSG India courses and to crack the ice exam, visit ksjindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksjindia.com.